Hey everyone, this is Gianni Del Franco, and I want to talk a little bit about the caffeine use for athletes and how it can affect athletic performance, what the downsides of caffeine are, and also if it's allowed in sport by the NCAA. So when we talk about caffeine and we talk about what it can help, we start wanting to take a look at one, how it can reduce fatigue. Um, that has been shown through countless studies. Um, Mieglo Ayusu uh, et al. in 2019 actually showed that there are a multitude of benefits, not just reducing fatigue, but also helping increase aerobic and anaerobic performance because it helps spare muscle glycogen. So what this helps do is maintain a higher amount of force output over longer durations, which can help enhance aerobic capacity, um, but also increase your peak power output. So we do tend to see more benefits in males than females, um, or at least to a greater extent, there still are the benefits in females at the same dosages. And something else that is not directly muscle performance related is that it helps improve focus and cognition. So when you're playing in sport to help make better game time decisions, making, um, faster moves on the field, anything related to just general focus, that can help. So when we look at the dosages that we want, we start to look at anywhere between three to six milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day help create those benefits. When you start to consume more than that three to six milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day, we start to see some disadvantages. And one of the big ones is, well, tachycardia. So an increase in your resting heart rate uh, without any need for exercise, which could have some big downsides on damaging cardiac tissue. Um, we can also have GI upset. We can see an increase in the amount of time it takes to fall asleep which can contribute to excessive fatigue the following day from a lack of sleep. And we can also see nausea. When we start to get into that six milligrams per kilogram body weight per day dosage up to nine, that's where those effects start to come into play. And the more you consume, the worse it does get. But something to point out is that a lot of people, including me, are chronic consumers of caffeine, either through coffee, tea, caffeine tablets, before workouts, anything like that. And when we do start to consume a chronic same level of caffeine, the effects start to diminish over time. So when that happens, in order to get a better performance and to actually use the ergogenic aid how it's designed, you have to consume even more prior to your workouts or to your sporting events. So when that happens, you could push yourself into that negative side effect range without necessarily wanting to. Now the fun part to all this is caffeine actually is a banned substance by the NCAA. Now general consumption of caffeine is okay. However, if it's seen that you're consuming caffeine prior to a sporting event and you're urine tested and your urinary concentration of caffeine is 15 micrograms per milliliter, then you're tested positive and can be up for a one year suspension from your sport. We don't want that. So when we start to take a look at how much caffeine consumption can make that, we start to see within the four to 500 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day consumption, within that two to three hour window prior to your event. So we want to avoid this. If you are a chronic consumer of caffeine, then what we're going to want to do is either not consume caffeine prior to the event and have whatever you do beforehand be your normal use, or you can take a micro dose, maybe 300 milligrams, and you will have an elevated urinary concentration, but it won't breach that 15 micrograms per milliliter. So, long story short, yes, it is safe to consume caffeine, and yes, it will help improve your athletic performance. The NCAA does 
actually have that listed as a banned substance, but as long as you're careful around your sporting day, you should be okay. So when we want to take caffeine prior to exercise or prior to sport is gonna be within that 30 to 60 minute window. And that's when we wanna take the three to six milligrams per kilogram per day in order to see those positive effects. Now that three to six grams per kilo per day might breach that 500 milligrams prior to your event. So you should do testing before and see what your body can actually handle and what your urinary concentration of caffeine is after consuming the amount that you need to see benefit. Now, if it comes that in order to see benefit, you have to be above that rating for the NCAA uh, banned substance list, then your odds are that you should not have it. But for others, if it's below that 15 micrograms per milliliter, take it and be careful. Make sure you're exact every single time. Now, if you do it before your workouts, you can use it for that improved focus. You can use it for that improved peak power output and being able to sustain your muscle glycogen for a longer duration so you can help reduce your fatigue over time. So that helps with endurance athletes, it helps with power athletes, it helps with some of those anaerobic sports like um, football, baseball, even soccer that are gonna be leaning more towards the endurance but still have some of those anaerobic bouts in there for sprinting. Almost any athlete can benefit from caffeine use. Just being careful that you're not taking too much prior to your event and that you're not taking too much that you cause GI upset or tachycardia. Also, if you are a chronic consumer of caffeine, just acknowledge that you will have to have more caffeine to see benefit than someone that does not. So with this in mind, you can wean yourself off caffeine and then start to see those benefits at a lower dosage. However, you will be going through some withdrawal symptoms such as nausea and headaches and body aches and some reduced performance during that time because of the withdrawal symptoms. So just keeping that as an acknowledgement, it is a choice if you want to do that and have less caffeine consumption. So maybe before your event, you can actually see a benefit at the caffeine use that you need.